and start recording. Welcome, we are play or playing. We are watching Arbored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon gameplay preview. So we just had a reaction to a trailer like, I don't know, a few days ago? I don't remember. Um, but there's a whole gameplay preview, like 13 minutes. I've, I'll be honest, I watched a little bit of um, other content creators videos on this like um Vadividia and Iron Pineapple but I haven't watched the actual gameplay preview that's uh, official from Bandai Namco so this is Bandai right so let's watch it right now so let's, let's not wait let's just watch Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon gameplay preview hello and thanks for checking out the video. Should we like subtitles? Subtitles go right. Yeah, With you're this welcome. Footage, no we'll introduce our new mech action game, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Dude, I am I am so hyped for this, dude. It I, gives you an idea of this title's mood and gameplay. Seeing the other videos, gameplay and leather content creator stuff on it was crazy. Also, I In hope we're able to where interstellar travel is commonplace. To do like super boosting with these rockets. The story begins in a distant star system on the fictional planet Rubicon. Our okay. protagonist, an independent mercenary, is smuggled into Rubicon in search of a mysterious new substance known as coral. Coral. So this is us then. After crashing in. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. A catapult? Oh, didn't they call the rockets catapults before? Were they called catapults? I don't remember. Huge multiplayer stages out. will let players make the most of their this ACs looks exceptional movement and attack capabilities. What if you fall? Do you die just like the other ACs? Just instant came over <laughs> just from falling. No! Oh. Wait, so is this taking off from this? Oh no, this is the catapult. Okay, never mind. Time to fly, 621. So we are 6-2-1. Like in the trailer. Oh, Busta! No, that didn't even, I don't think that really got us that far, but... Okay. Look at all this... Like, all the machinery is like floating and stuff. I wonder if that's because... No, there's trees. It's not like the... It's not like the land is polluted, it doesn't look like it at least. Bro, I'd be confused too, just ran mass AC just landed. Four weapons simultaneously, equipped to each arm and shoulder. So we have we have rocket sword, rocket energy sword, rifle. Not assault assault rifle? Or just rifle? I think it's assault rifle. No, it might just be a rifle. What's our left shoulder though? A radar. This map is huge. Assault boost is one of the core abilities at your disposal, used for both traversal. Yo, and where's combat. my sprint button at, dude? Yeah, it's a, it's assault boost. That's what it is, okay, gamers. Did you hear anything about what the corps are up to? Yeah, they'll be coming soon. Oh, you can you even get us on the run. Listen in on other people's uh conversation. Wait, that's amazing. It's amazing because now, now that actually gives like a little bit of a human element to the ACs. Rather than like it would it would give us like a little bit of dialogue in the other ones, but it wasn't really that much. ACs mobility to freely navigate the environment. This is so cool. What are these noises? Oh, it has the same type of lock on as a. Uh... Extending combat dimensions beyond the 2D plane. I mean, I'm not gonna fake this. I, I already I saw the gameplay videos from other people, but I really do like how there's a choice between hard lock and like a uh, old style AC locking. It has to be a, a radar for the left shoulder, huh? So we're radar, radar missiles, rifle, and sword. I wonder if you start off choosing an archetype. To archetype. Gain more altitude and launch into the action from above. Okay. Catapults. It's big jumpy boosts. 
So this is... Is this the first boss then? I'm assuming this is all gonna be starting at like the first... <laughs> yeah, screw it, dude. Just energy sort of the, the Osprey, dude. The the, ha the heavy combat helicopter. Against I, I love the music. Deal impact damage to their attitude control system to temporarily put them out of action. I can imagine like just like hitting this with giant cannons or something to disable them, and then just running up with like a pile of bunker or something. Any attack received in the state is it's, it keeps flying even though it's staggered. That's interesting. Damage. I kind of expected it to at least land for a little bit. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is the menu AC design, part shop, OS tuning. So we're still gonna have OS tuning? I haven't seen too much of the part stuff, by the way. Is that a chainsaw? Assembly lets you exchange various parts of your AC at will. I wonder if they're gonna have... Frame parts such as the head and core, and internal parts for power management. The energy wing cannons from, uh... What the heck was that guy called? The French knight dude? And strategy is crucial to success. Look at all those legs, man. I'm 100% using reverse legs, dude. I wanna try and get... As close... Oh. Archivist. So this is like our first company? Schneider. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. Is that like you a giant... to destroy it. A giant battle fortress? The Strider is a mobile resource base. And okay, it's a mobile resource base. By sure. the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti It even has like the, the giant freaking saws in the, the middle. Eye, like... A giant laser cannon. Directly to the main generator. Remind me of that 4A enemy that had like a giant saw on the edge. Like the big red thing that had the giant saw. Alright, so we gotta focus on the generators. Good luck. I like that fist logo. Time for a little self promotion, 621. Smash also, the and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. Drinking some coffee right now. Main system activating combat mode. Dude, that drop in animation is so cool too. Commence mission. The the First, HUD, by the way, looks absolutely clean as hell. Here, we're up an is that the shadow of the Strider? Dude, this, the scale of these missions is huge. Activate the eye. Is it like those giant circle pods in 4A that just shot laser beams? Coral, abide with Rubicon. Oh, it is a giant laser! Turning on the eye, it really might, reminds me of like AC's, AC4's like giant pods that float around and shot lasers at you. I think you like fought four of them at one point in the mission and then it like was like six or something on hard mode. Wait, so what is this? We're breaking its leg? Handicapping it? You need to take out one of its legs to bring it to all. Uh, I mean... Confirmed. Yeah, I was gonna say, it was already coming it's down, home. I mean, you're telling me. Why would they make it... Okay, why would they make this big mobile base on, like... I don't get it. A mobile resource thing. Their weakness is the legs, and it's the easiest place to kill, or easiest place to destroy. They made it, they messed up, dude. I'd rather go on tracks, even though you destroy one track, the whole thing's out. I mean, probably easier to defend than a bunch of legs. Red gun should be taking care of some freelancers. Wait, are we red guns? Some missions will see you partnered up with LIAC. Oh, or maybe maybe we're out we're partnered with the red guns in this, okay. Handler Walter. You know, the handler guy sounds like um the 4A guy who keeps calling you a dog. Do we have any different Oh we still have the same weapons? There's, there's a different shoulder weapon here, though, on the, on the left. Excuse me. 
I, I love the lock-on, dude. What, whatever lock-on style they went with this, it looks like, what, you have free free lock or whatever? That's like the old style ACs, and then you have pure pure lock-on, which makes it so much even better. And I'm, I'm assuming, like, I heard about the reticle turning red and then able to track and everything like that. I'm sure that changes with your FCS, too. Oh dang, so we're alone here. Your is he using a reverse joint? Range from protecting targets and information oh, it's a cannon on his like, this time. Forces. Oh, and he's using... Energy shoulders? Dude, I'm 100% using energy weapons, dude. They're so badass. At least to me, energy weapons are so badass for some reason. Wait, does that guy have a sunbeam? Yo, is he powered by solar panels? What is that? But I hear you make fine the music, dude. Sure solar. I love how every time, like the AC, like AC pilots, dude, they're always like, eh, "It's time for you to die, or this will be your last." Your no, how could I die? Come on, you almost got him staggered. Come on, dude. Is this, is this energy gun overheated? Or is he charging it? Keep the pressure up in these intense battles. Don't give the enemy a chance. Yeah, dude, you, you let him regen all his stat. Okay, the dude just freaking cannons him. Sure. Okay. Oh uh, wait, that wasn't the final boss. Maybe maybe this is like a cut to a different boss. This is the guy we saw in the trailer. Boss encounters also await you at the end of certain missions. This is where it starts turning into a total of hell, huh? These oh, the kick, dude! The reverse joint kicks. For even the it's so badass. Remember, no iframes, chat. Chat. I'm not even streaming. No, no iframes, dude. By observing the enemy's movement and tell Just like classic ACs. Pure movement. Come on, homie, you got it. You're like fully mobile. You should be able to handle this. Come on. We invite players to take on this one for themselves and see what else awaits. A flamethrower? Wait, was that it? Thank you for watching. There's still a little bit more. That isn't concludes there? our introduction to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Dude, I'm so hyped for this. I'm 100%. We appreciate your continued support. And look forward to seeing you at launch. You're gonna do like an energy energy speed build or something, like a medium weight energy build. Or a fast energy build. You're like, well you could always switch your switch your things, you gotta switch it for the job, dude. You you gotta min-max every mission, you know, you gotta min-max change part Nah, we make a generalist build, okay? I'm doing so that we we like using specific archetypes here, alright? Also, I'm sure it won't be that bad. I think in the interview they said, uh... They engineered bosses for certain archetypes, but it's not, like, impossible to do with others. That freaking tank looks amazing. The giant- Oh, dude, it's a crab! I really want to fight this boss. I think this boss is going to be fun as heck to fight. Also, the, the freaking Roomba. The giant volcano Roomba. Armored Core 6, Fires of Ruby Gun. Amazing, dude. I cannot wait for this game to come out. Like, just just everything- Wait, what is this? Melander C3G13 Special Customization Tenderfoot? Am I missing something? Do I know what this is? Am I supposed to know what this is? I don't know what this is. We also need to play AC3 because I started like 2 and everything, and I was gonna start AC3 after finishing 2, but we haven't done that yet. But Man, like... Just Your looking at everything about soon. this is is amazing. Like the HUD is amazing. It looks like the gameplay is Range amazing. The customization, target. where was that at? Was that still back here? Like, what do we have in the menu? We have we have AC design and then you have part shop. So I'm assuming AC design is like putting stuff on your AC, right? And then part shop is buying new stuff. And OS tuning, that's like using all your extra little chips or whatever, but if I remember correctly, I saw that they're like, uh, they're not gonna be as obnoxious as they were before. Like, what you had the S rank, uh, everything, and you'd get like 10 or 5 OS points or whatever. I, I don't know how you're gonna get them in this one, but 
it's definitely seeming like you're not getting like 10 OS points every time. It's, it looks like it's going to be like one or two and then it's going to, you know, you're not going to have to pump in a, a ton of points. Uh, I have no clue what Nest is. Uh, like that's kind of weird. It might be like a hub or something maybe. I'm not sure, but... Mercenary license, pilot name. You have your emblem. You have your arena rank too. Oh, let me move my head. You have arena rank and you have a hunter class in here. Wait, a hunter class? What does that mean? What what, what does that mean? Oh yeah, look, there's the OST chips for the OS toning. OS toning, also comb. Comb? <laughs> Assembly, paint, decals, image editor, AC, also that's everything I see. So what is he using in this? This looks like rifle are these just the hand icons i think these are hand icons and the shoulder icons so it's not like we'll be able to oh dude look it even shows like the little hold on the little companies in here I... these these look like all new companies we we know about this one at least because that was what archibus is that what it was called we were introduced to this one but we have no clue what the deer is we have no clue what the the three line thing is taiyang Sho. uh rad I like how the rad ones are just like, oh yeah, basic and named stuff. Boz and deer again. Expansions. So we still have expansions. What are these? So we have, it looks like snipers, uh, maybe an auto sniper, rifle, rifle, uh, assault rifle, maybe. Gatling guns, shotguns, also known as the Spaz 12. What is this? The explosive thrower. Explosive launcher developed by Defang Core Industries. So that's that's what they are, Defang or Defang, Defang. Scatters a spray of compact explosives and to devastate the area ahead of the user. So this is like a shotgun, ex shotgun, shotgun launcher. Dude, hold on. Go back to that chainsaw. We gotta see what that chainsaw is. Wait, also, what was that weapon? That looked like an energy rifle. Hold on, hold on. What is this? That's either like an energy rifle or the longest magnum known man. Or like Deagle. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Chainsaw. I'm gonna pause on the chainsaw. Double trouble. Oh, so it's dual chained. Okay. Chainsaw developed by Rad. Originally a tool. It is definitely Rad. Originally a tool used by uh, indus industrial demolition craft, now repurposed as a weapon. Charges to deploy the blades, which can be pushed into a target to rapidly accumulate damage. This is gonna be badass. Stun baton. A stun baton? Developed by Archibus. Repeated attacks induce a forced electrical discharge effect on afflicted craft. Cra uh, charge to explode the core of the raw baton and charge. Okay, so I wonder if this is like a ton of stagger or something. It says it does a lot of consecutive hit hits and like no impact. I wonder how that works then. Laser dagger. Designed for close range combat using lightweight craft. This energy weapon is built to deliver agile slashing attacks. Charge to blitz the area with instantaneous sweep attack. Oh wait, what was that other thing in there? Hold on, hold on. Dude, there's there so many cool looking weapons in here, I'm sorry. Like, that's the laser dagger, and then it had like some weird other thing there. Dual missile launchers. To exchange various Active homing missile launcher was a shoot one, maybe? Missile town targets has a short, uh, lengthy airborne time, enabling heavy pressure tactics. So it does have a lot of uh, impact, it seems. Needle missile launcher. Fire stake shaped projectiles. Oh, that's my computer. Uh, at a high velocity and bore through the target's armor. Non explosive missiles that rely on raw physics. So, this is impact then. Look, look at that. Raw impact missiles, dude. Okay, that makes sense. This looks like a. This looks like a proton cannon. Am I right? An energy cannon? It's on the back. So, that's what it looks like. It looks like an energy cannon. Because they look weird. Pulse buckler. Uh, this looks like a shield. Oh, wait, more shield. Okay. Laser cannon. We like laser cannons here, dude. Diffuse laser cannon. Spread laser cannon. Enlarged version of a standard laser shotgun. <laughs> okay. And charge to concentrate the laser, producing an energy explosion. And then find their eye. Oh, I know. This is the heads now. So I wonder what, what they're going to include here with the heads, if they're going to have like different radars core. and stuff like that. And internal parts for Bro, what is that f the flattest the head weapons, possible known to man? The Look at this. And what is this, dude? <laughs> 
flattest AC head known to man. They kind of look cool though. Look at that. Hey, that really neat. Look at the bodies. This is like your classic, classic body. This looks like um, your medium weight. I forgot what it was called. Man, I'm I'm so out of out of lingo with AC. But we will be playing AC three and then AC four A before AC six comes out. So keep keep an eye out for that streaming. By the way, assembling an Wrecker. AC to fit your own playstyle and strength. So what do we have? Uh, wrecker types, just like the arms. Lightweight bipedal legs. Crucial. Reverse jointed legs. Enabling agile transitions to aerial combat as a Schneider's Forte. So this is, uh, if it's Schneider's Forte, this is Archibus, right? To success. Tetrapod by Balam. Wait, Balam? See to fit your own play style and strategy. I don't recognize any of these. I recognize Balam though, right? Balam was uh Balam used to be in the game. Right? Like the, this this was already established or am I am I wrong about this? I might be wrong, but I think I remember Balam for some reason. Anyways, honestly, awesome awesome trailer, awesome gameplay, dude. I wanted to look at the parts and stuff because I I didn't get a chance to look at that yet. So, at least we got a first impression of that, dude. I I am so hyped for AC6. We are 100% binging the crap out of it, dude. We are playing the crap out of this game. There's no way we're not going to. And I hope you guys enjoy watching my streams up until Armored Core 6. Um literally a month from now. This is wild. Uh, honestly, time goes so fast, and we'll be playing this in no time, honestly. But thank you guys for watching today's video, watching me react to this. This whole entire game is going to be freaking amazing. I'm hoping it's game of the year material. I really am, mainly because mech series gets gets so overlooked, dude. Any, any mech series game gets really overlooked, but I'll be honest, like... I even overlooked it. Armored Core 6 is kind of like the only mech game I really like. And there was something about how realistic and gritty it was that, that really pulled me in. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you guys have just as much as fun as I do whenever Armored Core 6 comes out. Dude, I'm, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. But anyways, have a good day, a good night. And bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peace.